Hey guys, so, so I recently bought the new Ardell Magnetic Lashes and I wanted to try them out on camera for the first time and really see how they go and give you a full review on them. Magnetic lashes are like a huge thing now. I've seen them being sold on Amazon and eBay for like $30 and it's kind of ridiculous, but this is the first time a brand that I actually trust has released a pair of magnetic lashes. So I ordered these on Sally Beauty Supplies website. I did check Ulta, but I couldn't find anything on there. So just Sally's for now. I'll link it down below if you're interested. I ordered two different pairs. So I ordered the Double Wispies, which are a really popular style of theirs. So when I saw it online, I actually thought you got like two pairs, but my dumbass just didn't think about it. So you get an upper lash and a lower lash for each eye. These are the Double Wispies, and this is what they look like put together. And there's your two lashes. And they just connect like that. So the instructions say to gently remove the upper magnetic lash from the tray and lay on top of your natural lash line. And then gently remove the under magnetic lash from the tray and place beneath your natural lash line to connect the two magnetic lashes together. I didn't really know if you're supposed to put on mascara or not. I guess it doesn't really matter, um, but yeah, let's try them out. I guess I will put on a little bit of mascara. I'm gonna use the Benefit Roller Lash. So I'm gonna show you both styles today because why not? So I'm gonna start with the double wispies. So there's four magnets on this style. You can kind of see the magnets there. Ignore my nails, please. The only issue that I have with this lash is that it is super long. I usually have to trim most of my eyelashes pretty short because I like them to kind of start just right here and you know, go out there. I don't like my lashes to be too close to my inner corner because it just kind of irritates me. Um, but I'll show you how long this one is. Um, this is just the top piece I'm gonna lay down and just show you. So if I was actually gonna wear this lash, it goes in pretty far. So normally I would just trim these, but I feel like I can't in this situation just because there's four magnets. If I were to trim these, I would cut off the last two magnets on the end to make the lash kind of start be that long, just to be more comfortable that way. But if I cut off two magnets, then they're not going to work as well. So um, I'm going to try the lash how it is, and I'm not going to trim it at all, and we'll just see how it goes. So I'm going to lay the top lash on. Sure. And then I'm just going to... Oh dear God. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> got something. Okay, my eyes watering now. Oh God. Oh God. So I did a super bad job of laying that on. This looks awful. Um, I'm gonna try again. So I'm just gonna nicely kind of peel it off. That works. I'm gonna try again with this style. If it doesn't work, then I am gonna trim it because that's what I really wanna do. It's just so weird not using glue. Do that, do that. Yeah, this isn't working. I'm going to trim these lashes and we'll see how it goes. I'm just gonna trim the last magnet off. So that's how much I trimmed off. And this looks a lot more wearable to me now. It's definitely better. I just need to curve the lash band a little bit more. Okay, this is just kind of not working. I would recommend using two hands. Um, just the way I film, it's hard for me to use two hands. I wanna try the other lashes and see how that goes. These are the accent lash. Okay, so we got upper lash. Ooh, that's better. It's not that bad. Oh, something's like squeezing my eyelid. Okay. I got this one a little too close to my eyelid, but it's my best shot so far. <laughs> and mind you, I have no eyeliner on my top lash line. So if I look down, so you see no lash band. So those went on a lot easier than the double wispies. These really don't look that bad. Like for a magnetic lash, come on, that's, that's not too bad. They do feel very comfortable if you put them on correctly. Um, it's not, it's not pinching me or anything like it feels like I'm wearing nothing on my eyes. I like it though. I really do like the idea of magnets and not having like your inner corner pop up throughout the day because that's something I struggle with daily when I wear fake eyelashes. I also like not having to wear eyeliner to hide your lash band. I think it's a really cool idea and I think that Ardell did a really good job at making these. 
I'm also interested to see if other brands create magnetic lashes too and kind of follow this trend, you know, big lash brands, you know, like Velour or House of Lashes or Socialize or something like that. I think that would be really cool too. I'm definitely going to wear these all day and see how it goes. I'll let you know how they wore throughout the day in the description box below. They really weren't that hard to put on either, just took a few tries to get used to it. I'm interested to know your guys' thoughts. Do you like magnetic lashes? Are you going to try them? Are you going to try Ardell's now that they release them? And I think that's everything I have to say, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.